In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a function and convert it into a probability density function. So let's take a look at what we have. And now we'll simply create one. So say we're given the following. Here's our function. f of x is given by c times x for, say, between... 0 and 2. Okay, so x is between 0 and 2. This is the function definition. And it's 0 otherwise. Okay, so w represents otherwise, that phrase. So this is just a piecewise defined function. To turn it into a probability density function, we have to be sure that the area under the curve equals 1. Okay, so we will take the approach of calculus which tells us the following. For our function to be a PDF, or a probability density function, the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of f has to equal 1, okay, or 100% if you like. So let's take a look at this in practice. Our function is c times x. x is the variable, c is the constant we are going to find. It's what, what is known as a normalizing constant. It's the number you multiply the function by to make its area equal to 1 between 0 and 2. So you will take this, and the limits are from 0 to 2, 0 to 2, the x, and all of this equals 1. So the c is constant with respect to this integration. It's just a number, so we pull it out. Now we're going to integrate between 0 and 2 the function x. So we apply the power rule. So we have c, a half of x squared, between 2 and 0. That's the power rule application. So let's review that. So remember that rule states the following, that an integral of something like this, x to the n, is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus the arbitrary constant c. So that is what I've applied here. In our case, n is 1, or the 1 plays the role of the n, if you like. So now we have this. We will plug in the upper and lower limits for 2 and 0 here. So c, and then we have 1 half of 2 squared minus... 1 half of 0 squared equaling 1. Now, 1 half of 0 squared is 0. 1 half of 2 squared is 2. So I'm going to draw a little line to indicate we've moved on to another portion of the page. So we have c of 4 over 2 equaling 1. That's the same as c times 2 equaling 1 which means c equals 1 over 2. So the constant, we have to multiply our function by here, the c is equal to 1 half. So now let's rewrite the function so it's more concrete. f of x equals 1 half of x between 0 and 2, and 0 otherwise. Okay, so this is the concrete function. Now let's take a look at a picture. What we have is the following. I'm drawing an xy coordinate system. You should always be reviewing the fundamentals. So always draw as many pictures as possible. So this is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. Let's draw a picture representation of this function. So here, to make things more convenient, we will scale in terms of every four boxes will be a 1. So that's 1. Another four boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, will be our 2. So this is 1 and this is 2. Likewise, on this, on the vertical axis, this is 1 and this is 2. Okay. So now let's plot this portion of the graph. This is one half of x. In other words, that is a slope of two 
or a run of two and a rise of one. So you begin from the origin, two to the right, and one up, and that puts us over here. Okay. So now we connect with a straight line. We are. And this is a graph of our PDF. And the, <clears throat> and the C that we have found has actually now assured that the area under this curve is equal to 1 rather than some other number as follows. So, thank you for watching. Do you just